So today I want to talk about a business concept called the quantum leap. I learned personally about the quantum leap by reading a book called U Squared by Anton Blewett, which I highly recommend to you. And I'd like to take the concept of the quantum leap and I'd like to combine it together with entrepreneurial thinking to show you how, in fact, it's your own thinking that is often the key to your success. So the concept of the quantum leap is as follows, that no more time plus no more energy equals a huge breakthrough in productivity. Now, do you believe that? No more time plus no more energy equals a huge breakthrough in productivity? Most people don't believe that. Well, what I've learned is you need two things to have a quantum leap. Number one, you have to know that a quantum leap is possible. You have to know that no more time plus no more energy really does produce and can produce a huge breakthrough in productivity. And I'll prove it to you. Think about it. Isn't it amazing how on the day before you go on vacation, you get so much done? It's been sitting on your desk for weeks and weeks and weeks. You're going on vacation tomorrow and suddenly, boom, 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 boom. One thing after the other happens and the productivity goes through the roof. No more time, no more energy, just highly productive. Students have this all the time. You sit around the entire semester trying to write your damn paper and somehow, miraculously, the night before or the week before the deadline, you sit down and in one fell swoop you write the entire paper and guess what? You even get an A on the paper. How incredible. Yeah, so a quantum leap is possible, but you have to know it. And knowing it, an example would be, you're going to go running with your buddy after work and you get to his or her office and he's not ready, and in fact, not only is he not ready, he forgot his running shoes. So he says to you, look, do me a favor, run over to my apartment, grab my running shoes, when we get back, I'll buy the beer after the run, I owe you one. So he takes this big chain of keys out, and he looks through all these keys, and he pulls one off the chain, and he says, here's my key, and you run across the street, up the stairs, three flights, put the key in the door, and damn if it's not the wrong key, and it doesn't open the door. So you run back down the stairs and you smack it on the desk and you say, you jerk, you gave me the wrong key. And the guy picks up the key and he looks at it and he says, this is the right key. I've been using this key for 10 years. Just go open the door. And now, with the very same key that you had before and nothing different except the knowledge, just the knowledge that it is the right key, you go back and you open the door because you know it's the right key. So you have to know that a quantum leap is possible, and I'm telling you, and if you read the book, U Squared, you'll see it as well, it is possible to have a quantum leap. And the other thing is, you got to be looking for it. Now we all know that things get lots, very much better in life every once in a while. You meet something, some incredible thing happens, and life just gets better and you stumble upon it. But having a quantum leap on purpose requires you to actually be looking for the quantum leap. So let me be very clear so everyone understands what this quantum leap is. The example from the book is the following, slightly altered. A fly is flying around your office. and You're sitting in your office and this is an amazing fly. The fly is flying against the window. And this fly flies against the window seven times every minute. Amazing fly. What is going to be the outcome for the fly? Well, you can be sure tomorrow when you walk into the office, the fly will be dead on the windowsill. We know that, right? So what would be the quantum leap for the fly? No more time plus no more energy equals a huge breakthrough in productivity. The quantum leap would be this, that in between revolution number six, when he, or in some of your cases she, bangs against the window and backs up, that before revolution number seven, in such a small amount of time that it's no time, and with such a small amount of energy that it's no energy, the fly simply pssst, turns 90 degrees. And now, with the same time and the same energy, flies out the open door right there. That's the quantum leap. Just that little pssst. So the question for today is not, why was the fly flying against the window? We know why the fly was flying against the window. Because the fly didn't see the window. The question is, what's your window? What is the window that you are flying against every single day where if you knew it was a window 
at least you would stop flying against it. Now, since I don't know you, I'm not even sure who you are, you're watching this blog, I hope you're enjoying it, but I don't know you and I'll probably never get to know you. How can I possibly tell you what your window is? I can't tell you what your window is. What I can do is, I can tell you where to look to find your window. And here's where you look. Fish swim in water. But the fish don't see the water. What do people swim in that we don't see? People swim in conversations. Now, if you don't know what conversation I'm talking about, it's that little voice in the back of your head right now that's saying, what conversation is he talking about and what is he saying and why am I watching this blog and isn't it getting a little boring? That conversation, that conversation in the back of your head right now, the one that says, oh, I don't want to be a salesman. Salespeople are bad. Salespeople sell people crap they don't need. Yeah? That conversation. Start looking at the conversations that are going on in your head when you're telling yourself, we talked about this in an earlier blog, Hamanet, Kamanet, Gibsnet, I can't do that, I'm not good enough, I don't know this, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough people, I don't, yada, 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 yada. Those conversations are your window. Make sure that the things you are telling yourself, and especially the negative things that you are telling yourself, that you really stop and look, are they really true, or are they just a window and you're the fly?